Um, I have created about, let's say, uh, six months or eight months ago, a document uh, where uh, everything about the certain one was uh, collected and put in one place. Um, it's called the 71B Compendium. And, uh, okay, um, what it looked like is something like that. Okay, and I have printed a power copy that will pass around while I'm showing this on the screen. And what it is, basically, it's uh, everything about that I found on the 71B. Uh, I have an extensive collection of stuff, so about 95% of it came from my personal collection, but others contribute also. And I've listed all the module, all the product numbers, uh, everything that goes for the 71 inside. And on the electronic copies, uh, you got un everything underscore, point to a file, a PDF file, or an image file that you can download. So we have all the ROMs, all the document that was scanned, everything about the 71, uh, basically. Okay, so... Uh, So this is what's suggested by uh, Robert and Dave. Uh, well, last summer we were doing the uh, copies, image copies of the civil and the, uh, for the Fram. And over time, we collected the ROMs, and uh, one of the suggestions was to, uh, could we find the manual that goes with it, the overlays, and everything that goes with it. So uh, when the Fram project was finished, I started doing this one. Uh, I'm working. Okay. There were several versions of it. Okay, the first version I created was um, on the HP Music side as a web uh, as a web page. And the web page uh, grew and grew, and at some point I reached a limit of it. I got to split the article as an article. I had to split the article in two pages, and and at some point, I, uh, Dave asked me to create a PDF file of this. Well, I put the, uh, I took a shortcut, create a web a PDF out of the web pages. Well, it was not perfect. <laughs> and uh, at that point, I said, okay, I revised the options and I uh, took an uh, Apple page to, uh, to, to recreate the document and into a uh, document that is passed right now. So uh, right now we have two versions of the document. The web interface is now in four pages. It's still on the uh, museum site. And you have the PDF also. And uh, you can go to the website and you can download it. So, that's these two pages. Here we got all the links that are uh, where you can go to the, the PDF is on Dropbox. And all the other documents in the PDF, everything that is on the score, when you click on it, 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 it downloads that. There's about, I don't know, maybe between 500 megabytes and 1 gigabyte of stuff that I put on, on Dropbox wow. on this, okay? And uh, you also have the web pages, and on with the web pages, you also have the link for the files. So, if I show... So we can get into your Dropbox, you don't have to share it. No, it's on the public space, public the drop space. Uh, uh, but you don't, if you just click, it's going to download uh, automatically okay. and stuff. So, um, uh, now, when this was planned for another version this summer, but life wasn't waiting and I couldn't do it, uh, there's another one planned ver uh, version before the end of the year, that will include a lot of stuff that uh, Jean-Francois Garnier uh, gave it to me and I didn't have time to put. Those are the special module that's uh, not known and stuff that 
So there's another big version that's coming in. Uh, after that, next year, I plan to do the same for HP75 and the HPIS. So Robert is asking me to do one for HP41, but I don't know what that is. It takes a lot, a lot of time to do this. Okay, what does it look like? That's, yes. And is this working? Yes, that's great. So basically, in the document, you have uh, all the update acknowledgement, and then this is a reference product number um, from HP and also from the third party CMD, HHP, and everything that was made for the 71. It's there, and then you got all the mod the computer, the module, the simulator, and all the module with a description, a picture of it, the overlays and the manual, and also the run image you can download. Uh, everything that if you have a fram, you go this, you download it, and you have everything that you need uh, to do uh, to use the fram. So if I go to give you an idea, what it looks like. Uh, this is all the reference that you can, uh, everything that about the 71 that is on, not on, uh, that you can get from the website, different website. And then it goes into the, uh, all the product number based on what it is. The 71B, the carpet peripheral, the red, and then you got the RAM modules, uh, custom ROMs, uh, the health standard runs, the application, uh, all the, the accessories and stuff. So this is all the uh, uh, small book that HP was giving to sell or to give tips. Yeah, I have them, all of them at home, so I, I made a copy of it and scanned it and put it there. Um, you got the two books that was okay, the two books that was made for the 71 year that I know of. The one from Joe, and there was another one that the basic HP71. And then for the 71, you got the uh, uh, all the function that was there, some pictures. And if you click on the uh, on the web version, if you click on the picture, a full screen picture, full resolution. Okay, so here, if you want to go to the service manual, the design description, all of everything that is underscore, there's a PDF. And normally I say, if it's an IMG, it's an image, it's a PDF, and you know before, before clicking what it is. So when here, for all the stuff you got, when you got a zip, it's already the ROM all the image that goes with it. So I also have the emulator from Jacques Masogani on the dust side and also how an instruction how to map that to the emulator, how to map the ROMs in order to use the emulator. Same thing for the one from the stuff, again with all the step by step how to configure in order to use the emulator. And uh, at the end, links to uh, where the uh, stuff is for you. We have another one later here for the 48. Uh, card readers, uh, HPIL with the manuals, the uh, dual HPIL adapter, the one from 10 range. And then memory modules. The front, the first version. So basically, I'm going to go fast on this, but uh, also the EEPROM programmer. Uh, and then for each module, which I go, uh, sorry, I'm going fast here, but for each module, you have a description of it. What it is, a link to the ROM, a link to the manual when it's available, and uh, what it's inside. Uh, 
als Präsident. Ha, 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 ha.